fire crews encouraging people to avoid Costco on Sunday along Diamond Boulevard as they work to empty a tanker truck of fuel. That one right there upside down after a crash. Primarily just this area, the, the exposure, the risk of a, of a potential uh, catastrophic event uh, with fumes or fuel igniting is why we're cordoning off this area particularly. Uh, but uh, aside from this area, there's no other danger. Multiple fire trucks responded at about 9 a.m. A stretch of Diamond Boulevard was closed and the Costco parking lot was empty of people, but not of oil and gas, which had spilled from the truck. It had been delivering fuel when it overturned, causing what Anchorage Fire Department's Assistant Chief Alex Boyd says was less than 100 gallons of oil and fuel to spill. My understanding is that it was making a turn and that uh, in the process of making that turn, uh, it, it lost control or overturned somehow. Inlet Energy, which is the owner of the truck that flipped, worked with AFD to get the rest of about 10,000 gallons of fuel out of the tanker before it would be flipped back over. That's the, the most risk-laden part of this is while they're doing that transfer. Uh, and that's why we're going to continue to keep the roads closed, keep folks out of the area, maintain uh, a clear space and a safe space around it. We don't expect things to go wrong, but the highest potential for that and the highest risk is after they've gotten all of the fuel out of those tanks uh, and they've moved on. AFD was on scene as the truck was emptied. We have hose lines set up and crews manning those. Uh, we have a large uh, foam trailer uh, that can discharge foam uh, to extinguish and, and contain any fire that, that might occur. And so we'll just, we're here to provide uh, safety backup for the guys that are unloading the fuel. Captain Peterson with AFD says the situation reminds him of the importance of safety measures behind driving large vehicles. Whether it be driving fire trucks or large, any large apparatus, uh, being cautious behind the wheel, making sure that uh, you yeah, uh, you're not um, exceeding any speeds or making sure you're braking properly, plan enough time for your turns, things like that. The driver of the truck was taken to a local hospital with minor injuries. We got an alert from APD tonight that the traffic on Diamond Boulevard is now open.